Number nine, which of the following cuts from the same log would produce the uh, flooring with the best wearing characteristics? Quarter sawn, plain sawn, rotary sawn, half round sawn. Um, I've uh, done a little bit of this uh, some, in some other locations, so you may, uh, there's a longer discussion of, it, discussion of it in some other spots, but I think this is kind of a nice one because it touches on a bunch of issues. So let's say this is our log, um, and there's a log. Um, the answer to this is gonna be quarter sawn. So I'm gonna talk about quarter sawn for a second. Quarter sawn, if you imagine, you're cutting that log uh, into those quarters. And then once I cut those into the quarters, I'm gonna cut my boards out in that sort of awkward way like that. And you can tell immediately that I start getting with all these little weird triangular little leftover bits of space. So this is not an efficient way to cut a log. Um, I'm gonna end up with lots of extra bits. Now these days, all that extra bits goes into something, it goes into OSB or particle board or something. So it's not like it gets totally lost, but it's not highest and best use. So it better be a good reason to do the quarter song because you're losing a lot of uh, what would otherwise be uh, revenue producing. So the reason for that is that if you imagine uh, any one of those pieces, so let's say we're talking about like this one right there, um, the uh, rings of the tree are essentially going right like that. So the rings are going roughly straight across. So if we then think about it as a board of wood with those little um, uh, things, I'm gonna see the grain on the, that front face essentially vertical. So the rings are hard rings that are the darker ones and then lighter rings which are the softer ones. By having that board with those, that fairly even spacing and uh, that vertical line, that means all the hard and the soft are balanced and so the hard is gonna be protective of the soft and it's gonna wear much, much better than any of the other kinds of uh, wood flooring that you might get. So let's talk about plane sawing for a second. So if I have that same situation with the plane sawing, there's my log. Um, in plane sawing, I'm not gonna to go to this thing of where I'm gonna cut it into quarters or anything like that. Uh, I'm just gonna start you know, finding these, these lines across. I'm gonna cut it into those. It's gonna be the most efficient way to get as many boards uh, as I can out of it. But a bunch of those boards are gonna end up in situations where uh, I'm gonna have something like uh, the grain doing something like that, right? Where I don't have it going straight across effectively. I have it in some awkward uh, other way. So when I do the, uh, the look at the side, um, at the, the, this main run, you'll start seeing what's referred to as cathedraling, where you'll start getting those kind of awkward amounts, these big flat areas of soft, uh, soft parts within the little kind of uh, bits of the, um, of the hard rings. Um, and when you walk on that, it's gonna wear very, very differently than it would if you were walking on uh, a quarter sawn. Now, some people really like that. There's times when it's appropriate. It's often referred to as character wood. Um, you'll find that people will do it on purpose and for kind of a cabin look or something like that. So it's not necessarily bad, it's just different. And since the question was asking about wearing um, characteristics, you want something that's gonna wear evenly and consistently. So quarter sawn, plain sawn, rotary sawn, and uh, half round sawn, those are really for other kinds of uh, like uh, plies of things, plywoods and veneers and a bunch of other stuff like that. Mm -hmm.